What do you think of when I mention monster? No, not these guys, like the real scary kind. You know, the Loch Ness Monster or the Yeti. What about monsters that resides right here in the United States. I mean, the monster that we hear about most in the US is probably Bigfoot. Unlikely, as it may sound, a surprising number of credible, sober citizens of all ages and from every walk of life say they have encountered unknown creatures in parks, fields, lakes, highways, and yes, even urban areas all around the US. Here are seven terrifying monsters of the United States. Number one, bat squatch. With furry humanoid bodies, glowing red eyes, and bat wings wider than a pickup truck, they seem to enjoy swooping at passing vehicles and pedestrians. Reports are most numerous in the Northwest US, but bat squatch has been seen in rural Wisconsin, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and even downtown Chicago. Some researchers believe it's an unknown giant bat species. Others have suggested it's a Sumerian demon god named Pazuzu. You know, I also have a theory about this. Think about it. Giant bat, a downtown metropolitan area swooping at vehicles and pedestrians. It's Batman. Number two, the Flathead Lake Monster. One of the busiest lake monsters in America, the 20 to 30 foot long creature that many say inhabits this 188 square mile Montana lake has made at least 102 appearances between 1899 and 2013. With a large horse-like head and a row of rolling humps leaving a wake behind it, the giant eel-like creature has brushed up against swimmers and lurked near stranded bolts. Now get this, supposedly there are two of them and they have even been spotted together. See, even lake monsters go on dates. Number three, Goatman. Some say they are heinous genetic experiments gone wrong. Others believe they are forced spirits similar to ancient Greek satyrs or the old nature god Pan. The horns, hooves, and upright posture, however, are likely to conjure the word devil in the minds of contemporary witnesses. Many urban legends claim that the goatmen guard old highways and even snack on unwary travelers because, you know, goats eat anything. Number four, Ear Eater of Jasper County. Sometimes the scariest creatures are the ones you don't see. An unseen monster terrorized citizens of Jasper County, Mississippi during a few tense weeks in 1977 as it preyed on their pork population. Whatever it was, it had jaws formable enough to bite the head of a 50 pound hog. It also tried to decapitate a 300 pound soul but only managed to tear its ears away. The thing still effectively raided nine different farms. It left large canine tracks and was never caught. What the year eater looks like and where it went next is unknown. Number five, Wampus Cat. Also dubbed the Doberman Lynx or Dog Cat by various witnesses, this creature resembles a huge unholy hybrid of canine and feline characteristics. People have reported being stalked by these creatures in the canyons around Los Angeles and in some states in southeastern US. There is a supporting Native American legend of a woman cursed for spying on a men's council meeting hints at mythical origins of these creatures. The woman was doomed to roam in the shape of a human-like great cat and, according to the legends, still haunt many southern forests. Number six, Sasquatch. One of the best known of the world's unknown creatures, many eyewitnesses don't like calling them monsters since they appear so human-like and seem to confine most of their aggression to throwing rocks and snapping branches. But their sheer size, often eight feet tall and weighing 500 pounds or more, evident intelligence and amazing ability to elude capture or camera really put them into the category of things you don't want to encounter in a dark alley or anywhere else. Number seven, Mogollon Monster. The Mogollon Monster is reported to be a bipedal humanoid over seven feet tall with inhuman strength and large eyes that some claim to be wild and red. Its body is said to be covered with long black or reddish brown hair with the exclusion of the chest, face, hands, and feet. Reports claim that it has a strong and pungent odor described as that of dead fish or a skunk with bad B.O 
Mongol, which I don't know how that's even possible. Reported sightings range along the Mongolian Rim from Prescott, Arizona, north to Williams, Arizona, southeast to Alpine, Arizona, then south to Clifton, Arizona. Now, I never seen monsters before in uh, real life, but you know, I think the term monster is really subjective because some of these so-called monsters might not be evil and vicious. Like the Sasquatch, it's supposed to be massive and probably looks really scary, but doesn't seem to be bothering anybody. I mean, all it's doing is like throwing rocks and breaking branches. That's like so much better than like tearing someone's arm off. Who knows? I mean, maybe the Sasquatch is all nice and gentle when you get to know it. Guys, let me know what you think. Do you think monsters like these exist? Have you ever seen one? Let me know in the comments below. And again, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Later.